Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on one method of how to turn an MT2 size Morse taper out of mild steel on the mini lathe. I'm also going to do this without any math, trigonometry, measuring, or trial and error. As the saying goes, it takes Morse tapers to make Morse tapers. I'm going to be using the MT2 size dead center that came with this lathe because it has a few key features that are useful and the angle indicator doesn't have any reference marks. First off, I remove the tool post so it's not in the way. A center hole in the back is nice to make sure it doesn't move, but the main feature required on this dead center is a good flat area to mount it in the chuck. I'll also link one that should work for this in the description. Next, mount it in the chuck. Steady it with the live center and the tailstock, do a quick sanity check to make sure it's not wobbling around, and now we can get to setting the angle by loosening the compound slide. Then, find an area that in theory should be exactly parallel with the axis of the movement of the compound slide and find something else that is also in theory exactly flat. Adjust the angle of the compound slide until the flat indicator is touching both the existing Morse taper and the parallel reference across the entire length. Once aligned, tighten the compound slide back up and use a dial indicator to confirm that the angle is set correctly. Once you're happy, put your part back in the lathe, support it with the live center and the tailstock, put the tool post back together, and proceed to turn the taper using the compound slide. After you reach the correct minimum and maximum diameter measurements, quickly admire your work and try testing the fit in the tailstock. Ideally, it should not wiggle and be difficult to remove. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you found this useful, and subscribe if you're not already.